what's for dinner Purdue chili it's a recipe that I served to my family and friends when Purdue beat Michigan to win the 93-94 Big Ten Championship so if you want to see how I put that together keep watching If we're just meeting, I'm Denise Jordan and I teach traditional homemaking for today's homemaker. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's talk about Purdue Chili. I've called this Purdue Chili ever since I served it during a watch party when we had a bunch of family and friends over to watch Purdue beat Michigan to take the title for the 93-94 Big Ten Championship. So every time I make it, I think back to that family gathering, that fun-filled day, and how great that chili was. And since I've got so much going on today, I thought this would be the perfect time to put this chili in the slow cooker. So I've got it out on the counter, ready to go. And this chili is one of my pantry meals. As you know, I've been working on a series called My Prepper Pantry, and there are things in my fridge, my freezer, my pantry, and my extended pantry that I am rotating out. This ground beef has probably been in my freezer long enough so I'm going to get that cooked up today and then I've got some sweet Italian sausage which I always like to use but I don't have the ground Italian sausage I've got the sausage plate but they'll have to do because that's what I've got in the freezer today and I'm going to use this chili seasoning packet it's been in my pantry for a while and we're getting close to the best buy date so I want to get that used up and then I chop up a small onion, just roughly chop it, and then drop it in so it can cook along with the meat. Once the meat is thoroughly cooked, I put it in a colander to drain. Once it's drained, I get it into the slow cooker. And then I've got a can of garbanzo beans, a can of black beans, and of course a can of Brooks chili beans. I always like to use Brooks chili beans when I'm making chili, and I like the combination of the black beans, the garbanzo beans, and the chili beans. And then I add in a little salt and cracked black pepper. And you can add that to taste. And then I add in a 14 ounce can of Chili Ready Diced Tomatoes and a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then I'll go ahead and get that chili packet in. And I also like to sprinkle in a little bit of sugar, probably about a tablespoon. And then of course, my secret sauce, Heinz chili sauce. I also added a teaspoon of chopped oregano and I was fortunate enough to be able to just pick it from my herb garden. So once I put the lid on my slow cooker, I'll let it cook for the next four to five hours, just on low. Once it's done, I give it another stir and it just smells heavenly. So now I've got to give it a taste. The flavors have melded together beautifully. It tastes delicious. So now I'll get it plated and the hubby and I'll have dinner. And we always enjoy shredded cheddar on the top of our chili. As always, my Purdue chili turned out to be absolutely amazing. And since it makes such a big batch, I'm going to put some of it in the freezer so I can have it for a make-ahead meal. So one day when I'm busy and just need something quick, I can just take it out of the freezer, thaw it out, and we will be good to go. If you're into comfort food or mac and cheese at all, you might also want to check out my family favorite mac and cheese. It is to die for, and I always serve it for holiday meals. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whenever there's a family gathering, I gotta make the mac and cheese because I am the macaroni and cheese maker in our family. I will link it with an i card above and in the description box below so you can check that one out as well. And just so you know, I've raised three children and I have managed a home for more than 45 years. So if you wanna learn more about making and keeping a home, subscribe. I can teach you to be a traditional homemaker in an untraditional world. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, 
you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out my video on family favorite mac and cheese. And I will see you next time. I must have the noisiest refrigerator in the free world because this thing keeps making noises. First the ice maker goes off and now I don't know whatever that little noise is but I guess it's for the ice maker as well.